it's easy to add new fields and columns to the Excel-based reports in SpinMap. By default, the Excel-based reports will have the same fields and information as the corresponding printed version of the reports. But if you need to add additional information to your spreadsheets, here's what you do. Start by selecting this menu option, which you can find in the Reports menu group of each of the system's modules. Remember, each module has its own reports. Once you do, you'll be back at the main menu of SpendMap where you'll see this note to run the applicable report so that you have it open for reference purposes as you add the new fields. For this example, I'll use the Spend by Supplier report, but you can also do this with most of the other hundred or so reports in SpendMap as well. To keep things moving along, I'll just click the Next button to accept the defaults for the various report options. Okay, so here's my list of suppliers in Excel, along with how much I've spent with each of them. So let's say that you want to add the contact person and phone number for each supplier, in case we have questions for them while we're reviewing the spreadsheet. So when you switch back to SpendMap, the first thing you'll see is a list of master files that appear on the report. This particular report only shows supplier-related information, but other reports may list more than one master file here. So I'll double-click to add some additional information from the supplier master file, and here's a list of all of the fields I can add. I'll add the supplier's phone number and contact name, and maybe I'll scroll down and add the internal notes for each supplier as well. Finally, when you customize a report like this, you can apply the changes to only your report, or you can update the spreadsheet of other users as well, if it's something your colleagues might like to see. So that's it. The next time I run the report, you'll see the additional fields that I've added.